Ancient traditions meet modern wonders. We discovered the magic of Da Nang, Vietnam. I've wanted to go here for decades. Join our family as we explore this vibrant city. From the iconic Bana Hills area to the serene marble mountains, Da Nang promises an unforgettable blend of history, innovation, and family adventure. Buckle up for a journey through the heart of Vietnam. Hey YouTube family, today's adventure takes us on a thrilling ride through some of Da Nang's most captivating attractions. Fifth largest city here with a population around 1.4 million people. We coordinated meeting up with other families that we met earlier this year in Bulgaria. We have some lunch. What's up? Da Nang is the commercial and educational center of central Vietnam. Founded in 1901, Da Nang Port is the largest seaport in central Vietnam. Located in Da Nang Bay, the port is the terminus of the east-west economic corridor linking four countries, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam. We dive into the world of optical illusions and interactive art at the 3D Museum. Get ready to be amazed as our family becomes part of fantastical landscapes, optical illusions, and mind-bending scenes. It's a visual feast that will leave you questioning what's real and what's not. We have found 3D museums all over the world, and this one was the best one yet. I'll share some more information about Vietnam while you look through all this artwork. Here are some key points about the history of Da Nang, ancient origins. The area that is now Da Nang has a history dating back to the ancient kingdom of Champa, which flourished from the 2nd to the 17th centuries. The region was an important center for trade and culture colonial period. During the 19th century, Da Nang became part of French Indochina. The French established a major port in the city, contributing to its growth and important economic hub. The Vietnam War. Da Nang played a significant role in the Vietnam War from 1955 to 1975. The city was a major base for both American and South Vietnamese forces. Economic growth. After the war, Da Nang underwent reconstruction and economic development. The city gradually transformed into a vital center for commerce, tourism, and education. Modern development. In recent decades, Da Nang has experienced rapid urbanization and modernization. It has become a key economic and educational hub in central Vietnam, known for its dynamic atmosphere and strategic location. Cultural heritage. Da Nang is home to a wealth of cultural heritage sites, including Marble Mountains with its pagodas and caves and the Cham Museum, which houses a remarkable collection of Cham sculptures. The city's history is rich and reflected in its diverse architectural, cultural attractions and the resilience of its people. Go Lucas, go! Working out on the beach, grinding. Literally is grinding. Wait, what should I do now? Try out me, buddy. Maybe, maybe. Wow, that is beautiful. Say hi to Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Seafood restaurant. Look! Look at those guys! Wow. Whoa! The biggest snails out there. What is that? Four million. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Ginormous lobster. Ho Chi Minh Museum, where Ho Chi Minh was trying to make Vietnam from the north and the south to be more independent. Ho Chi Minh lived between 1890 to 1969, so he was 79 years old when he passed. The exhibits are thoughtfully curated that take us from his early years to his crucial role in shaping the destiny of Vietnam. Personal artifacts, rare photographs, and documents from different periods in his life provide a deeply insightful perspective. The museum doesn't just showcase the man, it also sheds light on a broader socio-political landscape of the time. Exhibits explore the cultural and historical context of Vietnam's fight for independence, 
giving visitors a comprehensive understanding of the challenges and triumphs that shaped the nation. We're at a little smoothie shop and it's about 75 cents for a smoothie. Judy got a mix and I'm getting a mix and gonna get the kids a strawberry. Just having a good day after the Ho Chi Minh Museum. Every night, night market with the band. Let's go. Next on our journey is the breathtaking Bana Hills. We soar through the clouds on the iconic Golden Bridge, suspended in midair with incredible views of lush landscapes. Da Nang is home to a record-holding cable car. The Bana Hills cable car made it into the Guinness Book of World Records for being the longest one-wire sling with a length of 5,777 meters. The longest distance between each station is 1,370 meters. The longest unpatched wire in the world of 11,600 meters. And finally, the heaviest cable roll in the world of 141 tons. From the French village to the Fantasy Park, Bonna Hills offers a perfect blend of adventure and charm for the whole family. Parts of it did seem oddly put together, but we enjoyed everything it had to offer.
And of course, we wouldn't miss exploring the mystical marble mountains. Here's Aiden. Take an elevator to start all the way up. Whoa. That's going to take a while That's to eat. That's a picture for your class, bro. Yeah, it's a snake. The frog survived. Somehow. Yeah, tap it. Join us as we climb to the summit for panoramic views and delve into the rich history and spirituality that envelopes Marble Mountain. Marble Mountains is a cluster of five marble and limestone hills located south of Da Nang City in Vietnam. The five mountains are named after the five elements, metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. Boy, anyone in mm, fresh coconut. Top of marble mountain. All of the mountains have cave entrances and numerous tunnels, and it's possible to climb the summit of Mount Toy. <laughs> the highest point at Marble Mountain. We're at the top, let's go! Ah, I'm getting rained on and it feels My so good. So Several Buddhist sanctuaries can also be found within the mountains, making this a pretty hot spot of a tourist destination. The area is known for stone sculpture making and stone cutting crafts. Direct rock extractions from the mountain were banned recently. Looks like chess or checkers or a game of baseball. We did notice the swastika around and the kids had questions. Unfortunately, the Nazis adopted a right-facing swastika as their symbol, causing it to be stigmatized due to its association with their ideology. The Nazi swastika is distinct from the traditional symbol in its orientation and negative connotations. We are just getting started. Here is a glimpse into what's next as we explore more of Vietnam. We will be going to many other places here. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more family travel adventures, and let's dive into the beauty of Vietnam together.